through the servant he has prepared for us. And at this moment, I'm going to welcome our pastor, Pastor Susan. He's the one who's going to lead us today or to teach us today. And the word of God says uh, in uh, Psalms 119-130, the unfolding of your word gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. Hallelujah. God has something to you today. As God enable Pastor Susan to unfold that word, you will receive the light. Every area of darkness in your life, it will cease. Because God, through his word, he will bring his light. So in that due respect, let's clap our hands and we raise as we welcome our minister, Pastor Susan, as she come to deliver the word of God to us and we welcome her as a prophet for we know those who welcome a prophet receive a prophetic word. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory, glory to the Lord. May I know with a show of hands, if it is your first day to be here today, you've never been to Imani Family Church, we want to welcome you with Imani Welcome. Let me see with a show of hands. I can see a sister there. Can you please welcome her for me? Welcome her with Imani Welcome. We are happy to have you, Sister Rhoda, yeah? All the way from Ames, hallelujah. I met that sister in a function last weekend and I invited her and here she is. Thank you for coming. Do we have other guests? Do we, I can see a sister there. Welcome, my sister. Praise the Lord. And of course, we have guests from Minnesota, and we have guests from, I can see another sister, hallelujah. We have guests in the house. Feel welcome in the presence of the Lord. As Sister Elizabeth said, there is a table that has been set before you. Are you ready to receive? Are you ready to eat? Are you ready to drink? What he is giving, he does not require money. What he is giving, he does not require you to buy. He has set a table free for you. All oh, that the Lord wants is that you open your heart and receive what he has for you this morning. I am excited to be in the presence of the Lord. The whole of the last week, I have been resting in the presence of the Lord because of you to hear so that I can bring the message to you. And I have the message. I have the message. And when I say I have the message, I have the message. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. You know, it's one thing to come in here, and it's another thing to come and open your heart, and to receive, and to be a doer of what the Lord wants us to do. Women, it's our season. Glory be to the name of the Lord. When we sleep, the man sleep. When we sleep, our daughters and sons sleep. When we sleep, the church sleep. When we arise, men arise. When our, we arise, daughters and sons arise. When we arise, the church, the nation arise. Daughters, it's our time to arise. It's our time to stand 
and take our position. And that's why this morning we are here in the presence of the Lord so that he can make our feet as the feet of a deer. Hallelujah. Are you ready for your feet to be strengthened? Can you do this? Get, get, get out, get out and say somebody, greet somebody, tell them, are you ready? Are you ready for your feet to be strengthened? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are they ready? What are they saying? Are they saying they are ready? Are they ready? Are they ready? Hallelujah. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready, Lord. I want you to tell the Lord, Lord, I am ready. Lord, I am ready. I am ready. Every area of my life that is weak, I am ready to receive strength. I am ready to receive strength. I open up to you, Lord. Oh, that you may fill me to an overflow. I am ready to receive. I'm not telling the Lord on your behalf. Can you tell the Lord you are lady? Can you tell the Lord to fill you? Can you tell the Lord to fill you? You are ready for more. You are ready for more. You are ready for more. In the name of Jesus, our God and our Father, we surrender to you this moment, oh God. We thank you because there is a table prepared for us that we may dine with you, King of glory, and receive from you. We open our hearts to you, dear Lord, that you may minister unto us. Oh, Lord God Almighty, I surrender to you. You are daughter, I surrender to you, Abba Father that you may use me for your glory. Thank you for divine ability for me to speak of your word. I pray that may word come out with boldness, uh, with power, with clarity to do what, Lord, you want thy word to do. Thank you for your daughters as they rest in your presence. May they receive, Lord, what you want them to receive. I thank you because, God, you understand every detail of each woman of each lady that is seated in this sanctuary, every area of their life, where they need your touch, where they need your strength, where they need uplifting, where they need to arise. Father, you know them. You know them. Have your way. Holy Spirit of the living God. Have your way in our lives. Have your way now. And do what only you can do, God. We worship you. We honor you. And glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. May we be seated.
I'm excited and happy to see each one of you. How many were here yesterday? Hallelujah. And a good number was here yesterday. And I will continue with the message. The Lord spoke to us in a great way yesterday. And I believe even today, God is going to speak to us. He used his servant, Pastor Elsie, in a great way. And he has something for us today. Let's open our Bible in the book of Habakkuk. I don't know. I, I, I had Pastor Elsie saying, I don't know whether it's Habakkuk, Habakkuk, Hab whatever. Whatever you may pronounce it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Habakkuk 3 and verse 19. Where our themes come from. Making my feet like a hide's feet. The Lord God is my strength. And he will make my feet like hide's feet. And he will make me to walk upon mine high places to the chief singer on the stringed instrument. This is the scripture that the Lord gave us when we sat and prayed and wondering what the theme of year 2023 will be. And I believe this is a prophetic message. When I am ministering, I will minister in a prophetic way. And I want you to grasp what is yours. That is my style of ministering. I always minister prophetically. And I will speak word of God prophetically upon your life. I want you, if that is the area of your need, to grasp that word and to hold it. Because it comes forth to do what the Lord wants us to do. Prophet Habakkuk lives a time of distress and desperation. The nation of Judah was rebellious. It was full of wickedness. Oppression surrounded Habakkuk. And Habakkuk was overwhelmed by the burden of the nation. In desperation, Habakkuk asked God a question. Where are you in all this? Lord, where are you in all this? If I can read that word, it's in Habakkuk 1 and verse 2. He told the Lord, as he was having a dialogue with the Lord, how long must I call for help? But you do not listen or cry out to you violence, but you do not save. Why do you make me look at injustice? Why do you tolerate long doing? Where are you? How many this morning or how many of us in the past have felt, have had that moment of asking God, where are you? In all this God, where are you? How many this morning are asking God the same question? In my pain, in my frustration, in this 
circumstance, Lord, where are you? I have prayed. I have fasted. Oh, I have called my sisters to stand with me. Where are you, Lord? This morning, while God may remain silent, while God may seem uninvolved in your situation, I want to assure you, I want to encourage you, continue waiting upon the Lord. Because indeed, he is doing something for your good. Hallelujah. He will indeed work everything together for good, for your good. Romans 8 and 28. In the moment of your doubt and confusion, Know that he's working behind the scene for your good. Don't lose hope. Continue holding there because he is working good for you. In the moment and of doubt and confusion, after Habakkuk had a dialogue with God, Despite the circumstances, he chose to enter into the rest and joyful presence of the Lord. He chose to enter into rest. I thank God because this morning, you chose to come to rest in the presence of the Lord. Despite your overwhelming situation, despite your pain, despite your circumstances, you said, I am going to the house of the Lord where there is rest. Yesterday we were told he chose to be joyful in the presence of the Lord. And today you chose to rest in the presence of the Lord. This morning I pray as you enter in the presence of the Lord as Habakkuk did. We, the Lord, will strengthen us and he will make our feet like a deer's feet. He will strengthen us and give us ability to make swift move in danger. He will strengthen us and give us sure-footed feet like a deer on mountain tops, on rocky mountains, on hairy mountain. I pray that he will make our feet as sure-footed, as dear feet to stand and to cry on those hairy mountains of our lives. Hallelujah. It says... And he will make me to walk upon mine high places. I will stand in the place of pain, in the place of adversary, in the place of doubt and confusion, in the place of difficulties. I will stand because he's making my feet as the feet of a deer. In the presence of Abba Father this morning, he is in the process of making. Hallelujah. 
He is in the process of making. He is in the process of adjusting. He is in the process of transforming our feet. He is in the process of making us suitable for our call. He is in the process of equipping us for battle. Glory be to the name of the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 144 and verse 1, Praise be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hearts for war and my fingers for battle. He is my loving God, my fortress, my stronghold, and my deliverer. Oh, he is my shield in whom I take a refuge. Glory be to the name of the Lord. He is preparing. He is training my hands for war and my fingers for battles. So many battles are on our way. And unless we are trained well, unless we are well prepared, Oh, to you, because you will not be able to fight the battles. But we are here in his presence this morning to be trained for battle. Glory be to his name. I believe God is at work molding us into a masterpiece for himself. And this involves cooperation. Hallelujah. God cannot make Susan a masterpiece for himself if Pastor Susan is not willing to cooperate with God. So it needs our cooperation uh, with our Creator. It needed Habakkuk to cooperate with God so that he could have a moment of rest. So that he could have a moment of rejoicing in the presence of the Lord. It will take you and me to cooperate with our creator so that he can make us masterpiece for his glory. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to talk about a deer. I had Pastor Elsie yesterday asking, I don't know. I don't know how this deer do this. That when it step, where the, the, first, the, the front foot stepped, the other foot came and stepped at the same place. And that's why it has the ability to climb. Vertically, it can climb. And even horizontally, it can jump a long distance. Who, Pastor Joshua, can you give me glory? There we are. Let that one stay there. Oh, Rabababa Shanda Rababoria. Deers are amazing creatures. They have the ability to jump tremendous height. As I was doing my research, I saw that deers can vertically jump even to 10 feet high. As I was doing my research, I saw that deers horizontally, they are capable of jumping over a couple of cars in a parking lot. Hallelujah. Deers have strong, powerful legs that enable them to overcome any kind of obstacle. They are able to overcome any kind of barriers. They are able to jump 
people and escape their predators. Hallelujah. Glory be to the names of the Lord. Tears have legs that have power and explosive energy to jump out of the ground. They are amazing vertical and horizontal leaps. The Bible say, if you open your Bible in the book of Isaiah 5 verse 6, just the first one says, then the lame will leap like a deer. Then the lame will leap like a deer. I don't know what area of your spiritual life that you are lame this morning and the Lord is saying that he will give their feet the ability to jump obstacles the ability to jump barriers like the feet of a deer what does it mean to be lame it means to be weak it means to be pathetic. It means spiritual lameness. When we can see, we can hear the truth, but are paralyzed to act. You know it's good to pray. You know it's good to read the word. But the scheme of the enemy is to paralyze your prayer life so that you don't pray. This morning I'm here to declare you are receiving your strength in the name of Jesus. You will no longer be paralyzed. You are receiving the strength. You are rising and your prayer life will not be the same again. We are saying we will not be the same again. That was our declaration yesterday. God wants us to jump over every obstacle, over every barrier. He said that he is our strength. May God heal you. May God restore you. May, uh, may he give us spiritual ability to do what we could not do. May he give us ability to navigate, to navigate, Chochorozote, chochorozote, hallelujah. Every narrow root, every narrow path, every narrow path. May he help us to navigate, to navigate those narrow paths. May you navigate through all kind of circumstances. May he make, may, may, make right move at the right time. Dears, Make the right move at the right time. The feet of a deer pursue and escape the enemy. They escape the enemy. Deers have so many enemies. Even human beings, we are deer's enemy because we hunt them to eat. Hunters are always coming after the deer. Deers know they are a target. Listen, in this wicked world, we are a target of the enemy. Your children are a target. Our spouses are a target. Your business is a target. Your prayer life is a target. Hallelujah. We cannot afford to close our eyes. We need to be alert. We need to be watchful. When the deer is in the camp of the enemy, it stays like this. Hallelujah. Amen. Looking back and ready to take off, Amen. hallelujah. Amen. But unless, unless we all alert, unless we all awake, 
unless we are watchful, we will never know when the enemy is coming to our camp. We will not know when the enemy is coming to our camp. One time a sister told me, she was sleeping, it was at night, and when she was asleep, a big snake came, and it wanted to coil in her bed, and she woke up, and she understood this, I'm in a battlefield now, and she told the devil, I know it's you, Satan, and in the name of Jesus, I curse you out. Go, live now. In the name of Jesus, she was spiritually awake. She was spiritually alert. Are we spiritually awake? Are we spiritually alert? I remember one time, I was back home, and I, I, I used to have moment in the presence of the Lord. It was just during the day, sometimes in the afternoon, and I just went to pray. I felt I just went, I needed to pray, and when I was praying, my husband was somewhere with our son, our firstborn, and, and, and we had a truck, a, a truck, a Nissan truck, and my son was at the back, and it reached somewhere that they were stopping and my son wanted to jump out of that truck. And behind, a car was speeding to come and hit our car behind. That moment, I was in prayer. I was kneeling somewhere praying. Because I was alert in the spirit. That when the devil is planning evil for your family, when the enemy is planning evil for your children, when the enemy is planning evil for your business, when the enemy is planning evil for your spouse, you are alert in the spirit. I'm saying you are receiving strength to stay awake. No more laziness. No more laziness in prayer. He is giving you the height fit in the place of prayer. Receive the height fit in the place of prayer. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the living Lord. We cannot afford to stay asleep. May the Lord make your feet like hide's feet. Ability to jump. Even in painful situation and painful circumstances, may he give you that strength that and the ability to pray, even if it doesn't feel like, even if it doesn't feel like, even if you are so overwhelmed, even if you are in too much pain, or even if you are pushed to the wall, may he give us the ability. Then the lamb will leap like a deer. And the mute tongue shout for joy. May you receive that joy. Yesterday, the woman of God told us that when the fish is in water, it will live. Because that is the environment it was created to live in. But when you remove the fish from water, and put it on dry land, that fish will die. Oh, brethren, most of us, we live a powerless Christian life because we are out of the environment. 
What is the environment of a Christian living? What is our environment? Our environment is a place of prayer. Our environment is a place of worship. Our environment is a place of reading the word of God. But the enemy will make you go into a negativity. The enemy will make you to go to the world, to the things that the world are doing. Oh, my sister, my brother, you cannot survive in that environment. You cannot live in that environment. Your spiritual man is just going to die. You will have no strength because you have allowed yourself to go into a dry environment where your spiritual man cannot stand and cannot live. Where? Are you today? What is your environment? Prayer is a weapon that push the enemy away. Prayer is a weapon in the, the she told us about spiritual battle. You can never win your spiritual battle if you don't pray. Spiritual battle are won in prayer. You have to go to the spiritual realm to fight the spiritual battles. And she says, she told us yesterday, before anything manifests in the physical, it has first to show up in the spiritual. So for you, to win your battles, you have to go to the spiritual to fight the battles. If you want your sons and daughters to come to the Lord, you don't, she told us, you don't face them and call them lazy and call them stupid. You face them and tell them you are the son of the most high God. You belong to the kingdom of God. No matter what you look like now, you are a son of the kingdom. That's what I tell my son, Diro. I look him light at the face. And I tell him, Amen. you belong to the kingdom. Amen. And then I go to my bedroom and cry. <laughs> oh God, he belongs. <laughs> Glory be to the name of the Lord. And then I go and cry and tell the Lord, I need this prodigal son back home. In the name of Jesus, I'm calling this son to the kingdom because he belongs to the kingdom. Glory be to the name of the Lord. My tongue will not call them stupid. My son will not call them they are good for nothing. My son will not call them they I don't deserve my love. My son will tell them, I love you, son. I love you, daughter. Do you know you belong to the kingdom? Do you know you are son of the kingdom of God? Do you know the life you are living is not your life? Because you are a daughter of the kingdom of God. And that's who they are in Christ Jesus. Oh, Reba Shaka Yanda Why? Because as he paid the price for us, he prayed the price for them. Hallelujah. Praise and worship is a weapon to overcome stress, to overcome depression, weapon of victory. When Paul and Cyrus were in prison, in Acts 16, 25, the Bible say, but at midnight, Paul and Cyrus were praying and singing hymns to God. And the prisoners were listening to them. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prison was shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were loosed. Hallelujah. 
Praise and worship is a weapon. Where is my daughter Rachel now? Oh. Where is Rachel? Oh. I always admire Rachel. <laughs> no matter the pain and the circumstances she is going through, praise will always come out of her mouth. Glory be to the name of the Lord. If you don't praise, if you don't worship, the depression, stress, anxiety will overcome you and they will overtake you and they will overtake you and before you know it and before you know it and before you know it you are right pinned to the ground where you cannot recover. Praise and worship. Paul and Cyrus, they chose in prison. We are not just going to sit there. We are not just going to sit there and cry. <laughs> you know, I, when I was a young mother, I used to wet my pillow so many times at night. <laughs> when I did not know what I know now, when I did not know what I know now, I used to wet my pillow with the tears, <laughs> crying <laughs> because of overwhelming issues in life, <laughs> because of the stresses in life. <laughs> I would cry, <laughs> I would cry, I would cry and cry and cry. But it reached a time and I saw there is peace in God. There is rest in God. I know, I know we have those kind of mothers here. Young mothers, let me tell you, let me tell you, get your strength, draw your strength from God. Draw your strength from God. Don't allow the enemy to pin you down to push you down. You have that power. I'm praying for the feet of a deer on those young mothers. Young mothers receive. Young mothers receive. Receive the strength. Receive this. Let me tell you why young mothers we cry. Here it's even dif different. In Kenya, we could even, or Africa, we could employ house girls. But here, you are the you you are the how you are the maid. You are you are going to work. You are you are the breadwinner. What? So you are the one who is doing homework. You are in school. You, God, there is so much. If I remember when I had my first bone and my second bone. There is one time my house got ran away. I was, I was, will I cook? Will I wash this smaller one? What do I do? I just cried. I cried. I cried. I, I didn't know how to handle things. This, the life is overwhelming. It's so overwhelming. It's indeed overwhelming. But when it's overwhelming, come, my dear, come, come, come. But when life reaches that time, when you feel like even your spouse is not supporting you, when you feel that there is so much around you, there is so much stress around you, there is so much destruction and noises around you. Raise a worship. This girl touches my heart. She always raise a worship. She always raise praise and worship. In the middle of her pain, in the middle of her circumstances, the best way she know is to raise her praise and worship to God. Lays your worship. Lays your worship to God. And you will receive strength to go to great height. 
you will receive strength to stand in high places. I'm praying this morning for the young mothers to receive extraordinary strength in the area of entrusting God for their life. Let me tell you, young mothers, it's okay for you to leave the dishes dirty overnight. Hallelujah. It's okay. It's okay to leave that bed unmade. Hallelujah. It's okay. It's okay not to clean that house that day. Hallelujah. It's okay. It's okay to warm the food that is in the fridge and say, today I'm not cooking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who raise your voice in worship and immediately all the doors were open. Everyone's chain was loosed. As we pray for our situation, let us raise our worship and the Lord will lose. The Lord will lose. Those things that are holding us. Lord, things are holding us. Those that are holding our feet. That we cannot be able to climb like a deer. The Lord will break the chains. The Lord will set us free. And we will be able to jump and climb greater heights. Hallelujah. The enemy target our prayer life. We are too, too busy to pray. We are too, too busy to read the word. I'm looking for that woman who will say, strengthen my prayer life. Oh God, help me. My feet in the area of prayer are weak. I need the strength of a dear. Maybe... In the last couple of days, in the last couple of weeks or even years, the enemy has oppressed you. The enemy has pushed you and pinned you to the floor. I declare now, in the name of Jesus, it's time for you to arise. It's time for you to leap like a deer. I declare it's time for you now to stand up strong and to receive the power of a deer. Maybe the enemy has pushed you to the floor with depression, with infirmities. This morning I'm declaring hearing to the children of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says in Matthew 8, 17, that it might be fulfilled what was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying, he himself took our infirmities away. He paid the price for it. You have a bill of hell, of good health. Because the price was paid. He bore it upon himself. He bore all the sickness. It doesn't say some sickness. Oh no. All. All the sickness. And I'm declaring, let's join our faith this morning. Let's declare freedom to them that are sick this morning. Let's declare healing. Declare healing to them that are suffering. It may be your loved one. It may be yourself. It may be your mama or your dad. Declare healing. Receive healing right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, as this word go forth. Forth, as this word go forth of Matthew 8, 17, that he took all our infirmities. Let declare it upon.
upon our loved one that they will receive hearing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He is able to do it. He is able to do it. So if the enemy has crushed you with sickness, today is the day of your miracle. Declare today is the day of your miracle. Declare today is the day of my miracle. Say it is the day of my miracle. It's the day for my victory. It's the day for my hearing. It's the day for my breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the prophet Isaiah spoke of God promised future where his miraculous work will transform the lives of physically disabled, spiritually dead. People will leap like deer and experience new for joy thanks to the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I know time is far much gone, but I'll try to finish, finish up quick. Okay, I'm speaking of another characteristic of a deer. The reason deer are able to do what they do is because God designed them with the fate that are suitable for the task. Pastor, you asked yesterday, I don't know how they do it. Because God designed them with the feet that are suitable for the task. Glory be to the name of the living God. God has an assignment for each one of us. And today, God is making our feet like the hide feet. The, the hands which hang down, he is strengthening them. The feet that are weak, he is giving them strength. Each one of us has a special assignment. Each one of us has a special calling. We are all unique in our own way. May you receive the strength to accomplish your purpose. I'm saying, may you receive, may you receive the strength. Don't you, are you not unique? Yes. Are you unique? Yes. Are you unique? Yes. Do you feel sometimes like you are inadequate? Do you sometimes feel like you are not capable? I'm declaring, receive. Receive the strength, receive the feet of a deer to do the assignment that the Lord God has called you to do. The Bible say in Job 28, 2, 28, you will also declare a thing and it will be established for you. Declare it upon yourself. Declare that now I am receiving the strength to do the assignment that the Lord has called me to do. This morning, the Bible says, I'm declaring your spiritual capacity shall be strengthened and you will accomplish the purposes of God as God predestined before the creation. Psalms 139.6 says that your eyes saw me, uh, my unformed body, all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. I, sometimes I don't even comprehend and understand the ways of God. That whatever he predestined Susan will be, in that small village of Mwemuto, I never knew I'll be in America, in a church of a servant of God, Pastor Joshua, who was obedient enough to hear the call of God and opened a church and, and stood up for the ministry. And mini I'll be ministering to women, not only in Iowa, but all over the world through the media. <laughs> Glory be to the name of the Lord. 
May he give us divine ability. Yesterday we were told, he give us grace and merited favor. And then the next part she said, it's divine ability to do the things that Susan and Susan cannot do. But Susan as the daughter of the king of kings can be able to do. Yeah. Hallelujah. May he give us divine ability to do what he has called us to do. When Pastor Elsie declared that, I said, Lord, it's me. It's me, Father, you are saying. And I receive that divine ability. You know, I, 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 I was thinking this. When she was talking that yesterday, I was saying, yes, Lord, I am a mother. I am a wife. I am a caretaker. I am a grandmother. I, I, I am a pastor. Those are five things and many more. Let me tell you, sometimes my son will call me and share a burden he is going through. Then my daughter from Seattle will call me and she's crying, mom, I'm going through this. Then my other last born daughter in school, she will call me. Mom, I don't feel like I can take it this anymore. And then my husband is calling me. Mama Vero, he, he drive truck. I don't have a Lord. Can you please pray for me? And here Pastor Susan is preparing a sermon. By the way, I tell you the truth. This week, my daughter, my daughter, my, my daughter Margaret was calling me. And then I'm, I, I, I'm preparing the sermon and she said, Mom, you are not listening. And I know when you are not listening. Well, Mom, what are you doing? Because you are not listening. <laughs> and then I confess, yes, I'm, I'm sorry I'm not listening. I'm preparing a sermon for the women conference. Praise be the name of the Lord. But he gave us the ability. He gave us the ability. He gave us the ability. Hallelujah. He gave us the strength. He gave us the strength that we can do it all. That we can do it all. And, then, and that's why I said, you cannot afford to close your eyes. When my son is calling me from Arizona crying, and the other daughter is calling me from Seattle crying, my baby is calling me from Maryland crying, can I afford to sleep? Will I cry? Will I cry when they are crying? No, I will not cry. I will call before my Lord. Oh, I will go to my source. I will go to my source where I draw my strength and I will kneel down and I tell Papa, this is overwhelming. Oh, like Habakkuka, like Habakkuka, I will choose to rejoice. I will choose to take rest in the Lord. I will choose to draw strength from God because that is where I can draw my strength. Oh, Rabba Shanda Rabba Boria. Oh, Rikriyama Shanda Rabba Gando. Receive your strength. Receive your strength. Receive your strength as you cry greater height. Oh, Rabba Shanda Rabba Boria. You can be able, that's the way. They climb high heights. The feet of a deer are able to climb high heights like that deer. They are given sure foot, sure feet that when they grab like this, they will not fall back. They will not fall back. I don't know whether pastor will be able to have that. They are the last, last one. God created the deer with a unique design of feet and of muscles that enable them to keep walking on high places, even reach top of mountain. God equipped deers for the roughest terrain. Oh, glory be to the name of the Lord for the roughest ground. Right now, we may be facing ongoing difficult condition, ongoing difficult circumstances and situation. We never ever dreamt of. Do you know something can come before you and you say, 
did I didn't even ever dream. I didn't even ever dreamt that one day I'll be going through where I'm going through. You are wilderness. You are wilderness. Seems like you cannot go through. You are wilderness. It's so rough. It's so rough. It's so rough that you don't feel like you can make it. But I'm here to declare. I'm here to declare, you are making through. You are not to stop in the wilderness. You are not to stop in the wilderness. You are going through in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm here to declare, you are unstoppable. You are unstoppable in the mighty name of Jesus. You are unstoppable. You are going through. Nothing is going to stop you. Nothing is going to stop you. Because he is giving you the feet of a deer. Whew. It may be tough and rocky. It's my prayer. The Lord is making your feet like Hyde's feet. A sure fit to go through. <sighs> Hallelujah. You are going through. You are not settling in the wilderness. You are not stopping in your pain. You are not stopping in your circumstances. You are not stopping there. You are an overcomer. You are an overcomer. I feel the presence of the Lord. You are an overcomer. You are not stopping there. You are going through. The Bible says in Psalms 18 and 29, by my God, I can leap over a wall. I I can leap over a wall. I can leap over the wall. By my God, I can leap over the wall. Just imagine that wall before you. Just imagine those children seems like a wall. Just imagine that marriage feel like a wall. Just imagine that school that feel like a wall. I can, I can leap, I can leap over the wall by my God, by the power of my God, I can leap over the wall. Just as a deer, I'll able to swiftly navigate terrains. God unshakable supports lead us to the steady ground to, st to stand on, move through trials. In short, I'm saying, God give us strength to live right sure-footed deer, transitioning through handles and becoming better when we learn to God. When we lean on God, when we learn to God, we are able to jump those handles. We are able to climb those mountains. We are able to overcome those giants. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Because he gave us the strength of a deer. Because he gives our faith strength of a deer. We are able to overcome it all. We are able to stand strong. We are able to fight on. Because he is the source of our strength. Because he is the source of our strength. I heard this song singing in my heart this morning that God give me faith like Daniel in the lion's den. Give me hope like Moses in the wilderness. Don't give up. You are not going to die in the wilderness. God is giving you hope like Moses in the wilderness. Give me a heart like David. Lord, be my defense so I can face my giants with 
confidence. May God help you to face your wilderness with confidence. May God give you the strength and the faith like David. <clears throat> To fight the giants in your life with confidence. May God Almighty continue to empower you. And to equip you in the middle of adversary. You will go through with confidence. You will go through trusting him. You will go through saying yes I can make it. You will go through singing a song like a Bacook. The Lord God is my strength, my personal bravery, my invisible army. He makes my feet like high feet and will make me to walk, not to stand, not to be in terror, but to walk and make spiritual progress upon my high presses, upon my troubles, upon my troubles, upon my responsibility. I am an overcomer. I am victorious. God is about to give you ability to go through rough presses. I wish I can get somebody to our keyboard. God will go through things. You will go through things you thought you couldn't go through. He is giving you suitable feet like hide feet. You felt like quitting. You felt like giving up. I'm declaring you are not quitting. I'm declaring you are not giving up. I'm declaring you are not quitting. No matter the situation, you are not giving up. If you are in school, you are not quitting that school because you are breaking through. If you are in that, if you are praying for your children, you are not quitting. You are not giving up. Because be you behold the victory, you felt like you couldn't take another day. You felt like you couldn't take another day. I'm declaring you will not die, but you will live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You felt like you couldn't go another day. You are going another day, another month, another year in the mighty name of Jesus to behold and do what the Lord has called you to do. Receive uh, the ability of a high feet uh, to jump over barriers. Uh, receive sure footed feet uh, to walk upon rough and tough rocky situation. The Lord is our strength. Uh, the Lord is our strength. Uh, receive the feet. Uh, whom have I in heaven but you, O oh Lord. Psalm 73, 25. I want every head bowed. I want every bow down. And as you declare this word with me, whom have I in heaven but you? Can you repeat after me? Whom have I in heaven but you? I desire you more than anything on earth. My health may fail and my spirit may grow weak. But God, you remain the strength of my heart forever and ever. Let us stand up. Sister Norma, come. And Rachel. Ima, Ima. Ima, Emmanuel. Let's sing.
was asking me, Pastor Susan, how are you able to go even stand in the altar with the things that you were going through? And I tell her, because the Lord God is my strength and he has given me feet of a deer. That the same I'm praying over you. I'm praying over you the strength of the Lord. I'm praying over you light now. May you receive the ability. May you receive the ability. I want you to pray for yourself. Receive the ability to navigate those rough areas of your life. Receive the ability. Receive the ability in the mighty name of Jesus. Just, just go tell them to receive. Receive the ability. Receive the ability in the name of Jesus. Receive the ability to do the things that you could not do before in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the ability to navigate those areas that you couldn't do in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the ability to receive and navigate. Receive divine active, uh, uh, ability in the mighty name of Jesus. God of the receiver, that divine ability that you feel you cannot do. Receive the divine ability 
authority in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive, receive divine ability. Receive divine ability. Receive divine ability in the mighty name of Jesus to walk on high height. Receive that divine ability. Receive the divine ability. Receive the divine ability in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive divine ability to walk on higher heights. Receive divine ability like a deer to go through the talents of their life, the talents of life. As a young girl, there are so much to face. Receive divine ability in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive divine ability. Receive the divine ability. Receive the divine ability in the mighty name of Jesus to stand strong. Receive that ability. Receive divine ability to overcome the wilderness to overcome the tough area in your life. Receive divine ability as a young mother. Receive divine ability. Receive divine ability in the name of Jesus. As a young mother, receive divine ability. Receive divine ability. Receive divine ability. When you feel overwhelmed, may the Lord give you the strength like the feet of a deer to jump a high height, to overcome, to overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive that divine ability. Receive the divine ability in the name of Jesus to overcome, to jump greater heights, to do what you could not do, to do the purposes of God upon your life in the name of Jesus. Receive divine ability. Receive divine ability. Your word is that word belong to you. Receive divine ability to jump greater heights, to overcome, to go up high mountain. In the name of Jesus, receive, receive, receive that ability. Receive that divine ability to break through the walls. In the name of Jesus, receive that divine ability. Receive that divine ability to go through the wilderness, to go through those rough rocks and terrors. In the mighty name of Jesus, may Jesus be your strength to stand strong. In the name of Jesus, woman of God, receive divine ability to do what you could not do before, to overcome, to overcome as the Lord be in your strength, to stand strong and to declare the goodness of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, as a young daughter, receive divine ability, receive belief, divine ability to walk start strong, to stand strong strong to overcome to overcome every area of your life in this journey may God give you strength in the name of Jesus hallelujah mama receive divine ability in the name of Jesus receive divine ability even at your old age when you are crying over your children when you are crying over your family receive uh, grace receive grace from the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus receive, receive receive, receive in the name of Jesus receive divine ability that you can break through the walls not by your strength but by the strength of the almighty God receive divine ability to break through the wall to climb mountains to jump greater heights in the name of Jesus mama receive ability receive ability to overcome not by your strength by the strength of the almighty God as you kneel down to pray and to intercede to receive every area of your life 
that you are trusting the Lord. Receive divine ability in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, my daughter Sarah, receive divine ability in the name of Jesus. As a young daughter, as a young girl, receive a divine ability to overcome all the obstacles, to overcome all the handles, to cry in this journey of faith. I, as a young girl, may the Lord give you strength. May God give you divine ability to break through and to stand strong for the Lord, to be an ambassador, even in courage, to stand strong. May he give you the ability to go through your school, school. Whatever you see as a giant, may the Lord give you ability. May he give you the grace to go through in the name of Jesus. Mama, may the Lord give you divine ability in the name of Jesus. Receive. You can do what you couldn't do. Receive the strength. Receive the feet of a deer to fight and stand strong to protect your kids in the name of Jesus and to protect your family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Receive divine ability, my sister, in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive divine ability. Receive divine ability in the name of Jesus to overcome, to overcome, to overcome. You will not be defeated. You are not stopping in the wilderness. You are not being defeated in the wilderness. You are going through. You are not stopping. You are an overcomer. You are going through in the name of Jesus. I speak freedom over you. I speak freedom over you. I speak freedom over you in the name of Jesus. I pray new strength, new strength now, new strength over you now. Receive new strength, receive new strength, renew. May the Lord renew your strength. May the Lord give you ability to do the things that you couldn't do before in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive, 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 receive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 